As an artist, what makes me stand out is my background. My art is as much about what I put on the canvas as what I do in my personality and my background. In fact, part of my art is my story. My story called Finding Your Butkus was all about rediscovering my passion for art. Bill Films decided it was a story they just had to tell. At the age of 47 decided he needed to start painting pictures of Dick Butkus. <laughs> like the, the way he describes it is like the scene in uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind where, when Richard Dreyfus wow. with the mound of potatoes just what starts... What I put on the canvas is only the first step in the art. What I back up the art with is basically my ability to speak and inspire people through my actions. So a lot of my art has to do with my background as a motivational speaker, as a teacher, as a martial artist. It all turned into the art of the athlete, which is sports art. And the reality is Buckus is sitting in the bench, mm -hmm. in the mud, the blood, and the discouragement. And this is what came out. It's just an incredible image. Well, I mean, obviously the blood there. I mean, was that the inspiration of the shot, or was it just the whole frame? I'm inspired by people that are leaders. I've been inspired by martial artists. I've been inspired by actors. I've been inspired by football players. When you take a canvas and create art, you're creating something that in effect is beautiful. Now, if you're an artist that's inspired by a flower or a mountain or a beautiful woman, you paint that. If you're inspired by a linebacker, a quarterback, a particular team, or a series of, of techniques or movements, that becomes your art. So it's about inspiration. see a lot of boldness. What, how do you go from a blank canvas and create all that energy? My study of the athlete is a love of the athlete. I understand the psyche of an athlete. I understand their hidden fears and their open, bold desires. When someone so looks at I'm my athlete. art, I want the viewer to feel the struggle of the athlete and the will to win, their need for adulation, their need to win as much as the compassion for the struggle and the effort. I like to through. think of myself as a realist artist. I want to capture the realism of the person, the realism of their sport. But what makes it art is the surrealistic, the imagined, the motion of what they're doing. So when I apply my technique to the canvas and I add the mediums and the various techniques that I'm putting into the brush and the palette knife, that expresses the movement. You see, you can't do a static portrait of an athlete. An athlete is meant to move, so that person, that athlete, that superstar has to move in my painting for me to be effective. <clears throat> when I was a young man, I saw Leroy Neiman painting live in Muhammad Ali fights. I see myself as a modern day Neiman. What made him different from all the other artists of the day was his personality and his ability to transfer that onto the canvas. My art combines to create a personality that works for the sports genre, for the sports fan. I see myself as part of the game, as part of everything that happens in the boxing ring to the football field. I am the tough guy artist and my art is right for sports.